Hi, and welcome to Takeout Tuesday. I'm your host, Nicole Hall, and I'm so excited to be here today at Denison's Brewing in Riverdale Park. We'll be speaking with Julie, owner of Denison's Brewing, and Chris of Catalyst Hot Dog, and learn how this joint venture came to be and how they became a stakeholder here in Riverdale Park. Let's get started. Well, thank you, Julie. I'm so excited to be here today at your lovely establishment in Riverdale Park. Please tell me a bit about how Denison's Brewing got started. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Nicole. Uh, super glad to have you guys here. Uh, so we got started uh, about 10 years ago, uh, opened in Silver Spring downtown in 2014, founded Denison's with my wife, Emily, and my brother-in-law, Jeff. About five years ago, we expanded to Riverdale Park, where we're sitting here today. Uh, this is where we make all of our beer. Uh, that we send out into the world and that you can come in seven days a week and uh, drink right here fresh. How did you get into craft brewing? What piqued your interest there? Well, there's beer, first of all. <laughs> that's a win. Right? Yeah, that's, that's part of it. <laughs> yeah. um, one of the things that I love about beer in general is I really see it as the every person's drink. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's lower in alcohol, it's very approachable, it's more affordable generally for people, and it really, you can get a wide range of folks that enjoy it. You know, one of our ethos is that we make a beer for every palate and everyone has a seat at our table. And we try to make that as part of the experience for customers, whether you're in here enjoying a, a nice draft beer um, right here in the tap room, mm -hmm. or if you find our products out in the world. Uh, we sell our beer across 1,500 locations all over wow. Maryland, DC, as well as Virginia. We do about 4,000 barrels a year right now, um, but we're still growing. Um, we have a big manufacturing space in the back. So if you come in and sit in the tap room, mm -hmm. you might not know that right behind the wall, we have about 9,000 square feet that we're making beer wow. five days a week that we send out into the world. Well, this is an amazing footprint. Uh, the vibe and energy here is amazing and it's truly a testament to what you've built. Uh, what can the customers expect when they come in? Uh, well, they can expect to be welcomed uh, and, and have a lot of fun and enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. High quality drinks, high quality service, high quality food. We know that not everybody drinks beer. Mm -hmm. We do have a cocktail menu. Oh, we have okay. we have wine as well. And we even make hard seltzer for those of us who are gluten free. Mm. Well, thank you, Julie. You truly have place they see at the table for everyone from your wholesale customer, your retail customer, your farmer to <laughs> your other breweries. You created a basically a brewery ecosystem here that has truly leveraged your brand and created some success for you. So I'm so excited to uh, speak with you today about that. Uh, let's get into the food. Let's get Chris on yeah. and let's start tasting some of this amazing cuisine yeah. that you're going to pair with oh, some yeah. of your styles. I'm hungry. Let's, <laughs> let's go. Let's do All it. Right. We're back and Chris from Catalyst Hot Dogs has joined us at the table. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. Pleasure to, to have you here. Now tell me a bit about this joint venture you have with Denison's Brewing with Catalyst Hot Dogs. How did we come here today? When COVID happened, like millions of my colleagues, my peers, uh, I was laid off mm -hmm. uh, and at a place where I had a young uh, child, I had a mortgage, what do we do? Mm -hmm. I went back to what I always wanted to do. Anybody who's been working in restaurants as long as I have, I'll tell you, I just wanted my own place. And hot dogs was the answer to that. Awesome. So we opened Catalyst Hot Dogs. Now you started in the food truck, correct? Yeah, we did. Uh, when we still have our little trailer, the, the trailer that could. Uh, <laughs> I found that trailer uh, literally on the side of the road in, in Silver Spring. We were on our exclusively on the trailer for uh, just a, coming up on two years when we were approached by Julie and Emily and Jeff to get into this partnership where we are right now. Why hot dogs? I am from New Jersey, yes. the hot dog capital of the United yes. States of America. <laughs> and hot dogs are for everyone. Mm -hmm. We offer all beef hot dogs. We also offer vegan hot dogs. I'll put oh, it on a gluten-free okay. bun. If you're keto, we'll leave the bun off. There's a, it's food for everyone, which is the most important. Well, as a fellow New Jerseyan, I can appreciate the uh, commonality of hot dogs, and you're right, it can feed anyone. Right. And following up with our conversation with Julie, this is the perfect pairing because 
as we all know, we want to be welcoming to everyone here at Denison's and hot dogs are definitely that gateway to that. Sure. Tell me a bit about what we're going to be eating here today. One of our newest options on the menu is going to be this grilled chicken Caesar wrap, mm -hmm. which we can also do as a fried chicken, you okay. know, because if you want to be healthy but still have a little something fried, it's outstanding. What I chose to pair with this wrap right here is our third party triple, mm -hmm. which is a Belgian style beer. It's got a nice fruitiness to it that, that will balance really well against the acidity of the mm. salad. Mm -hmm. And also because there's a little bit of cheese in there, mm. any type of Belgian beer is gonna taste really, really good compared with the cheese. Mm. Cheers. Whenever you're trying to pair food mm. with a beer, it's always good to take a bite of the food first. Okay. Enjoy what that tastes like, and then take a little sip of the beer towards the end. So you can sort of see how the flavors kind of change a little bit while you're drinking the beer with it. Classic fresh ingredients, quality ingredients is what I'm picking up there. And then the pairing with the, the beer here is perfect. Like it really helped bring out the cheese flavor. It was like a little pop mm -hmm. at the end there. Sure. I think we're going to jump over to these, uh, what did you call them? Garlic knot dogs. Garlic knot dogs. I love that. And I love the accent. You're, you're reminding me of home right now, Chris. So tell me a bit about the hot dogs and the type of dogs. You said you mentioned you have different varieties. The most important thing is the decision we made in the beginning was we wanted to use a high quality hot mm -hmm. dog. Uh, our hot dogs are sourced from Rosetta Farm. They're oh. raising premium black Angus steer and then they produce dry aged beef. This is a $75 steak at, mm. at another restaurant, mm. but we're serving it as a hot dog. And in this case, we're wrapping it in dough and then mm -hmm. frying it. You are truly right. It is a steak in a hot dog yeah. form. It's meaty, it's dense, but it has great flavor. I'm picking up a lot of the garlic, not just from the knot itself, but also ingrained in the dog there. So to go with the garlic knot dogs, uh, which I think is one of the most creative things on the menu, I love it. Uh, this is our Southside IPA. Mm. So it's got the hops that are in this. As an IPA, it's pretty hop-centric as okay. a beer. And hops are gonna accentuate a little bit of that spice that goes into the saucy sauce. So it's sort of leaning into that spice, that sort of elevated definitely. kick a little bit, mm -hmm. and just takes it to the next level. I'm definitely getting the kick on mm -hmm. the back of my tongue with the, the notes there. Sounds like oh, yeah. my favorite. I'm a little jealous of you guys right now. <laughs> I'll get you one later. <laughs> Julie can take care of you. <laughs> All right, Chris, tell me about this hot dog all the way. The all the way. Uh, the star of this show is the Texas chili sauce. Uh, we do make it with that Rosetta beef that we were talking about on the, mm. uh, with our hot dogs as well. It's a signature Jersey Texas chili sauce. Mm. Just our version of it. Mm. Chris, <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you. Uh, Thank as you. a Jersey girl, you did us proud. <laughs> Thank you this very is an much. amazing hot dog. The onions are just that fresh bite and texture that everyone sure. wants to taste when they have a meal. Yeah. But the star here is the hot dog and the pairing of that chili. Thank you. It is a little kick, but not overwhelming. I love the bite of the hot dog as well. This is with our Born Bohemian Pilsner. Oh. It's a lager. It's got a nice, crisp, clean finish to it. And the mm. reason why I picked this beer to pair with this specific hot dog is because of that chili sauce. Mm. You've got that savoriness. Yeah. And as a lager that finishes clean, it's gonna cut right through that sort of like savory, fatty, mm -hmm. saucy stuff that you get with the sauce. It's calming to that heat note there. Yeah. You know, it's definitely Good choice. a, a, a Great perfect choice. pairing of not masking the flavor, but enhancing it in a positive way. So I know we talked about a lot of the craft beer. You also have mocktails as well as uh, alcoholic drinks as well. Yep, exactly. So like right here, so we do offer non-alcoholic beer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Athletic Brewing Company, we have some of their offerings on our menu. Okay. And then if you're um, wanting to have something that's sort of like a cocktail, but without the alcohol, we have mocktails. Perfect. So right here, this is our hibiscus mocktail, which is like a really fun, vibrant drink that people really enjoy. We do carry wine as well. So this is just a glass of rosé. And then this right here is our Jack Rose, mm. uh, which is a really fun uh, cocktail that's part of our winter cocktail menu. Thank you so much for showing just the variety that you offer here, as well as the beautiful craft beers that you've created. The Jersey Girl and me can't wait to jump into these cannolis. Please tell me about this beautiful dessert. I, yeah, I was sharing earlier that while I don't make our shells, mm -hmm. we do make the cream. Mm. Uh, this is a classic regatta cream cannoli chocolate chips folded into there. Now shine is a powdered sugar. Take the beer, and in this taste, take the cannoli too. You're gonna have it all. The cream <laughs> and the chocolate is simply amazing. The cream is so smooth. This is such a perfect ending to a delicious meal. Again, the quality 
as well as the love that I can feel in this dish really just encapsulates a wonderful experience here. Thank you so much for bringing this to Prince George's County, Thank you. as well as the quality ingredients that you, you, you're putting forth here. Thank you both for your time today. It has been an amazing experience and a delicious cuisine, and I'm just so thankful for the pairing of the two organizations you brought for today. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as always, we're so excited to highlight our wonderful businesses here in Prince George's County. Thank you to Julie of Denison's Brewing and Chris at Catalyst Hot Dog for an amazing culinary experience. As you go on your culinary journey here in Prince George's County, be sure to stop in at Denison's Brewing here in Riverdale Park. Thank you for your time today. And as always, be sure to follow us on all social media at PGC EDC and be bold, be audacious, and buy Prince George's. See you soon. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. to that. Cheers.